Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a really cool piece from the Chinese designer Feng Chen Wang. Now, you may be most familiar with Wang from her recent collaborations with Converse. They had this really, really crazy two-in-one pair of Chuck Taylors that were really popular last year, so the name is getting more and more recognition lately. But the mainline pieces from Feng Chen Wang are incredible, really forward-thinking, really interesting, like cut and sew stuff, so cool. And I have this amazing piece right here. And I mean, you could ask yourself, like, what is that? Is that like a scarf? Not exactly. Is it a is it a sweater? Not not quite that either. Um, yeah, it's a crazy piece, and we're gonna check it out. So let's do it. But first, I've looked into it, and a very very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. You just press that button, and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. So what the hell is this? You might be, and probably should be, asking yourself. Well, this is a turtleneck scarf cloak. It's knit. It's, it's crazy. It's one of the most insane, unique pieces I've ever seen, and we're going to learn everything about it. I'm so excited. But first, we've got to start with these retail tags that come with it. So as you can see, this is a folded over piece of cardstock with the Feng Chen Wang logo on it. Obviously, there's some interesting capitalization there. Um, the F, it's kind of cut off at that top line. A lot of interesting stuff there. The N also cut off. And this is like a matte black. It's kind of a plasticky feeling to it, kind of a waxed feeling, as are the letters. The letters feel essentially the same as the tag underneath. And, you know, it's just like a cardstock. It's fairly bendable, but also not super thin or anything. And on the inside of that, we got some good stuff here. First, we have this sticker here, where we got the model name up top, black wool blend scarf, uh, size, of course, one size, brand, Feng Chen Wang, and a price there. I'm guessing this sticker came from the retailer. Whereas, I believe this sticker came from Feng Chen Wang themselves, so it's much more likely that you would have this sticker, and it should have this sticker. <laughs> because it has this logo there, a retailer probably wouldn't put the brand logo on it. They just put the brand name. So we've got the product name, Scarf, nice and self-explanatory. We get a model number, which should match everywhere we see it. Colors, black, size is one size, grade, grade A. I have no idea what that means. And the composition, what it's made out of, it is about half and half acrylic and wool. So fairly standard kind of fabrication for a knit. Then there's a little bit of space, and down at the bottom, in small, bold text, all lowercase, you get the website name. No www at the beginning. Unnecessary, right? And then those are attached with this really glossy, like, plastic, wiry string. And that gets looped through the care tags inside the scarf. Next, we got to take a look at the brand tag at the back of the neck, because this piece does have a neck and they've put a brand tag there. So most scarves probably wouldn't have something like this, but I'm glad this piece does. I gl I'm glad we have something to look at here. So as you can see, this is like your standard kind of embroidered stitched in tag. It's like a glossy black, as you can see. You can see the leg kind of bouncing off of it. And then it has that logo print, big and bold, taking up pretty much the whole um, width and height of this tag. The lettering exactly the same, the same like cutoff pieces, capitalization, all of that stuff. On the back side of that, you can see the inverse colors, and uh, the print is coming through really, really clean there. And you can also see that it's folded over here, and that's how it's stitched in. It's kind of stitched in underneath those in the corners with these vertical black stitches there. And next, let's take a look at the care tags that are inside the sweater scarf cape thing. So these are sort of soft, glossy white, plasticky tags. And right up front there, you get that logo print once again centered on the tag and the website underneath. And on the back of that, we get the model number, which matches the one that was on the retail tag. Always a great sign. If yours don't match, that is not a good sign. Model name and color there. Then we get the fabrication. And again, all of this is matching with the retail tag. And then at the bottom there, made in China. And Feng Chen Wang is a Chinese designer. So that is not a sign of like bad quality. They're not making it in like the same Chinese factories that 
Walmart is making their stuff. It's a very different situation here. Then at the very bottom of that, we have six washing symbols there. The next tag is also a loop tag, and it has essentially the same information, but I'm guessing Japanese or potentially Chinese. And the back of that has those same washing symbols and some instructions. And this last one, also a loop tag here. It's got big, bold text that says, Before the Dawn. I'm not sure that could be the collection name. A lot of designers like to do that. And if that's the case, I think that's really cool. And at the bottom, you get that logo print, but just going across horizontally. They're not like stacked on top of each other like the other ones. And the back of that is blank. And you can see that's stitched in with a single kind of clean white stitch going across there. And the way they do this is actually really smart because there's no real seam to sew it into. That's what most pieces do, right? Any normal shirt or whatever, they put it into the seam. But what they've done here to hide these stitches is that on the outside, there are these big, big logo panels. And basically, they've stitched the tags in right there. You can kind of just barely see the stitches for that. So it's a really nice, clever way to hide the stitching for the tags. Now let's take a look at the unique elements of this piece. And I don't even know where to begin. Like from here, they basically look like a pair of pants, you know? But they ain't. They go on around your head. Pants that go around your head, okay? So you can see the neck is absolutely huge. What you have to do, you put it on and then you've got to fold it over because otherwise it would go over like your entire face. But hey, COVID, socially distancing, you know, masks, maybe that's what you want to do. And as you can see, it's a nice rib knit. I really, the feel of it is incredible. The acrylic wool blend is really smart because it means it's super soft and it also doesn't have that like pure wool scratchiness either. So great fabrication in my opinion. So then that neck is attached to the kind of cape scarf right here, and it keeps that kind of knit pattern going with those little kind of upside down Vs essentially. So you don't have really visible stitches. It's all done in the kind of knit fabric. And then kind of over the shoulder and down the side, you get this massive knit logo print going all the way down it. And that's really cool. It's kind of at an angle you'll see. It's really interesting placement and really maximal as well, which I appreciate. And you can see there's the neck right there. And now here's the side going down. So that neck is pretty much centered right halfway between the piece that comes down as the scarf. So it sits pretty evenly on your front side and your back side. So it's kind of going down your arms and side, which I think is perfect placement. So now that we have checked all of that out, let's try this piece on to see how it feels and see how it fits. Let's start by talking about the feel first because we already started talking about it. So it's pretty much half and half wool and acrylic, which I think is a great blend for sweaters. It's not the most kind of high-end fabrication. Acrylic, it tends to be a bit cheaper. Um, usually the highest end stuff would be pure wool or maybe even like lamb's wool or alpaca or something like that. But acrylic is soft as hell. And when you mix it with wool, it starts getting that high-end feel as well. So softness is there, no scratchiness or anything. It's just like super comfortable scarf feeling material. So perfect on that end. The fit, on the one hand, it's easy to talk about. On the other, it's kind of tough. So it is one size. There's nothing to worry about for sizing. You know, there's only one choice for you. Um, I'm 5'10", and wearing it just kind of falling, it falls just about to my knee. So you'd have to be pretty short for it to touch the ground on you. Um, so I think this would work for pretty much any size, any height. Obviously, there's no like body to it, so it can't be too tight on you. The wider your shoulders, the shorter they are. It's just, you know, no big deal. It's one size and it fits great. It's just such a cool piece of clothing. Like you get this little bit of a kind of bib at the chest, and then obviously you get this huge turtleneck and then just this massive scarf cape falling down your arms. So it's one of the most unique pieces I've seen in a long time and I'm super happy to mess around with it and wear it out. So that is how you tell the difference between real and fake Feng Chen Wang clothing. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.